So this is Scratch Greeting Card. Scratch Greeting Card um, is a nice introduction to Scratch, and when you're done, you'll have a digital greeting card that you can send to a family or friend. The first step after we open up Scratch is that we want to get rid of our sprite of a cat. And to do that, we're going to use the little scissors up here and click on the cat to get rid of it, because we're going to paint our own sprite. To do that, we have to come down here and we're going to click on the paintbrush here. And I'm going to zoom all the way out so I can see my whole work area. And spring is coming up, so I'm going to paint a sun that welcomes us to spring. The sun is circular, so I'm going to use the, the ellipse tool up here. And I don't want my sun to be filled in. I'm going to fill it in with a different color. And we will draw our sun. I'm going to add some rays using the line tool here. Just sort of go around. All right, and now I'm going to use the fill tool. Um, I'm going to fill in my sun with yellow. So this paint bucket will fill in my whole sun. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Because the sun's going to be welcoming us to spring, I need to give it a face. Um, so I'm going to switch to the paintbrush tool here and use black. Give him some eyes. Nice nose. And a mouth. And I'm actually going to go back to that fill tool. So we fill in those eyes and click OK. And there we have our new um, sun sprite. To make our sun sprite animated, we're going to have to add a second costume. So we already painted the first costume. I'm going to look in the costumes tab on our sprite. And there's our first costume that we just painted. And I'm going to copy that costume that I made, and I want to edit it and just make small changes so that it looks like it's animated. To do that, I'm going to, well, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the mouth. I'm using this eyedropper tool to grab my yellow color, and I'll just paint right over the mouth. And I'm going to add an open mouth um, so that our son can talk. And we'll fill in that mouth. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more rays. So if I select this orange color again with the eyedropper tool, I'm just going to add some shorter rays in between the other rays that I already have. So the sun is excited about its message of spring. All right. So now I can preview my animation by clicking in between the two costumes that I just have. That looks good. And I'm actually going to write a script so that that's automated, so it automatically switches back and forth between those two costumes. So to do that, I'm going to go up to my Scripts tab, and I'm going to go to Looks. And I need two of these Switch to Costume blocks. I'm going to switch one of them. You see they both say Costume 2. I want it to switch back and forth between Costume 1, the first one I made, and Costume 2. And then to add a little delay in between those two, I'm going to pull out some weight blocks. And you can see when I hold it close, some little a white line, some school glue there appears to stick them together. I'm going to stick all these together. And I'm going to put a forever around it so that it loops, and so that it keeps doing that action. And this seems a little slow, so I can actually go right in here while it's running. I'm going to change those to 0.4 seconds. You can see it automatically changes um, how that script is running, so our son is talking a little faster now. And then the last thing that I need to add to this script is this little hat that says when the green flag is clicked, because in Scratch, how you start a program is by clicking this little green flag icon up here. Now if I click Stop to stop everything, and I start my program up with the green flag, It'll start right away, um, and we'll have it going. The next script that we want to add here is I want my son to say something. I want I want the son to tell you happy happy spring or welcome to spring. So I'm going to go back to the looks, and we can see we have a say hello block here. I'm going to drag out a couple, and I can just change the text right in here. Hi, everyone. And we'll put 
welcome to spring. All right, and just like my last, um, my last script up here, I'm going to put a forever around it so that the sun says that sort of on a loop. And I'm going to stick a wait in here too so that in between each sentence, he's, the sun is pausing. Um, I'm going to pull out another green flag cap here, and I'm even going to put a wait in between my words and that green flag so that the animation has a chance to start before the sun starts to talk. And we'll put, let's just put two seconds in there. So now if I hit stop again and hit the green flag, and there we go. So now it's talking. And the last thing we're gonna do, just to make this a little bit more dynamic, is I want the sun to move around on my screen. So I'm gonna go up to my motion tabs here. You can see there's a move 10 steps block. There's also an if on edge bounce block. I'm gonna pull that out so that when my sun hits the edge of my stage here, it bounces back instead of just getting stuck. Um, and just like all of the other scripts that we have out here, I want this to loop on my card. I'm gonna put that right in there on the forever. I'm gonna pull out a wait again so that it waits a little bit again before it starts um, moving around on the screen. And we'll stick a green flag on top and try that out. So let's hit stop and start again. And once it starts moving, oh, he is moving very fast. Um, so I'm actually going to change this number in here, the number of steps that the sun is moving. And I'm going to put, let's try three and see how that looks. That looks like a better speed. We also have the issue of our sun flipping upside down. Up here next to the picture of our, our sprite, um, we have these three buttons. And these control how our sprite can rotate. I'm going to... You can see we can just have them go left and right. I'm actually not going to have them rotate at all. I just want them to bounce back and forth sort of forever. Um, and now we're going to add a background um, so our sun isn't just sort of hovering in, in the white space. Um, to do that, we're going to go down to our stage. And our stage is what the background is called in, in Scratch. And, in, and our stage has backgrounds instead of, instead of costumes. So I'm going to click on the Backgrounds tab, and I'm just going to import one of the backgrounds that comes preloaded with Scratch. And I think I'll pull out these flowers. That matches my sun, sort of reminds me of spring as well. And there we go. So now you can see it changed our background. All right, so um, for our last step here, we want to add some sound to this card. Um, to do that, I'm going to click on the Sound tab here, and I'm going to import a sound. Um, Scratch also comes loaded with all of these different sounds. I'm just going to grab a music loop. I know I like these xylophones, so I'm going to pull that in. We'll just click OK here. It's appearing on our list. Now I can go back to scripts, and these are the scripts for the stage, so we haven't lost the scripts that we made for our son. And I want to just pull out a green flag again and forever, because I'm going to want this song to loop just like my other actions. We'll go to sounds. And we can say play sound xylophone until done. And so that's going to be our last step. I'm going to hit the stop so that we can test this, what it'll be like when the, when the viewer comes. And we'll try the green flag and see what it looks like. All right, that looks good. If you want to take this a step further, you can share it on the scratch website and email it out to your family and friends and if you have any questions or comments or you want to learn more about this project you can visit us at mediamashup.ning.com thanks